Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra and you have an issue where your auto rotate is not working. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running, okay? So right now I have auto rotate on, it's working. So even if I'm on my YouTube app, even if I go into like a browser here and I'm at a website, I should be able to rotate, okay? So step one is this. I want you guys to go ahead and sc scroll down from up here okay now here's the auto rotate button you should have that on okay now if I turn that off that's what it looks like now if I turn it on you can see the rotate there it turns blue so let me just slide down so I have auto rotate on so when I turn my phone when I have an app open and I turn it sideways it's going to rotate if I turn it off it says portrait okay some of you guys like get, uh, get confused okay so I have in portrait mode so now if I go into like my browser it's on portrait mode, so we're not going to be able to rotate. So I would have to go ahead and tap on that. And now if I go back in here, I'll be able to rotate. Okay. So if you guys are still down now, the second thing that we're going to do is simply, I just want you to turn off your phone and start it back up. So we're going to turn it off power button, volume down, press and hold both buttons together. And then just go ahead and uh, you can just go ahead and restart right here. Restart, let it boot back up. Once it's booted back up, go ahead and make sure your auto rotate is on and see if it's working with apps. Now, if it's still down after it's booted back up, then we're gonna to go to step number three here. All right, so if the auto rotate is still not working, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna force your phone to restart. Where you want, and you're not gonna lose no information doing this, okay? So basically what we wanna do is we wanna hold down the power button and volume down. We wanna press and hold do not let go until we see the Samsung logo appear. Okay, so we'll do it together. Volume down, power. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. I'm still holding on both buttons here. Do not let go until we see that Samsung logo appear. I'm still holding on both buttons. Waiting for that logo to appear. It's coming. I'm still holding on. Not going to let go. Still holding. Come on. Oh, wow, finally, there you go. Go ahead and let go. Now go ahead and wait for the uh, Note 20 to boot back up. And then uh, again, make sure the uh, auto rotate is on and see if it's working, okay? If it's still down, then we're gonna go to step number four. All right, so your auto rotate is still not working. The next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe the cache partition. Basically we're wiping or deleting temporary files that you don't need anyway. If your uh, cache partition gets too cluttered when you're like downloading apps, doing all kinds of updates, it can do all kinds of issues on the phone. It can slow it down. You can get errors. You can get uh, apps to like not work. And it also can have um, cause issues with your auto rotate. Okay, so first thing is let's go ahead and uh, turn off the phone. Press those two buttons, press and hold until the power off menu pops up. We got to go ahead and turn off the phone completely. Now, once it's totally off, the next thing we're going to do is we need to press and hold two buttons. Okay, it's going to be the um, power button and the volume up this time. We're going to press and hold both buttons and wait until we get into the Android recovery menu. Okay, so let's do it together. Phone is off. Power, volume up. One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. I'm still holding on both buttons. Waiting to get into the Android recovery menu and from there, there we go, let go. And from here, we'll be able to wipe the cache partition. So once you're here, let me focus in on here. Now what you want to do is go down the wipe cache partition. You can use the volume rockers and move up and down. So let's go down to right here, wipe cache partition. Now to select it, go ahead and tap on the power button. And this is telling you uh, once this is done, this cannot be undone. So let's go down to yes. And now I'm going to go ahead and select it and look down here. So once I go ahead and proceed with the wiping the cache partition, watch how quick this is cache wipe complete okay so it's complete now and then it highlights by default the reboot system now exactly what we, what we uh, want here so let's go ahead and press the power button select it and now it's just rebooting our phone our um, cache is already wiped once it's booted back up see if the auto rotate works hopefully you guys are up and running if not we're going to go to step number five Okay, so if you're still down, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in, we're going to boot into safe mode. So let me go ahead and boot into safe mode first. So uh, safe mode, bring up the power off menu here. So just press and hold both buttons here. Wait till this comes up. And then we're going to press and hold power off. Oops, press and hold power off. 
until this pops up, safe mode, let's tap on that. And then you may have to put in your password. And this is going to reboot once it boots back up. It's going to boot into safe mode. We will know that we're in safe mode when the bottom left hand side here says safe mode. Now, what does safe mode actually do? It basically disables third party apps. All the apps that you basically download it is going to be disabled. And the reason why we go into safe mode is it's a troubleshooting tool. So, for instance, your auto rotate uh, wasn't working when it was out of safe mode. Now, if your auto rotate works while we're in safe mode, then the culprit is most likely one of your apps that you downloaded that you need to uninstall. So we know we see safe mode here. So we know that we're in safe mode here. So let me go ahead and log in. All right, so I'm in safe mode here and you can see like really quickly, like I'll show you one of the apps I downloaded. This is a, uh, a game here. You can see that it's totally disabled. So what I want you to do from here is go to an app where, it, um, for example, let's go to Chrome here. I have auto rotate on. So even in safe mode, this should rotate, okay? If this wasn't rotating when you were out of safe mode, then, and it's, and it's rotating now in safe mode, then it's one of your apps that you downloaded that you need to uninstall and you, you need to basically just troubleshoot which app is actually the culprit. And what happens is sometimes even if you find the app and you go ahead and delete it and then you're out of safe mode and it works, sometimes you can go ahead and reinstall that app and then even without it being in safe mode, it's still gonna work, all right? Maybe it was a bad install in the beginning, who knows? So we're in safe mode here. Let's go ahead and boot out now. So the boot out, what you want to do is just restart the phone. So let's just restart and this will boot us out and then it'll no longer, once it's booted back up, it's no longer going to say safe mode here on the bottom left hand side. All right, so if it's still not working for you, then we're going to go ahead and go to step number six. All right, so the next thing we're going to try is we're going to go ahead and reset all settings. So let me show you how to get here. First, it's very simple. Just You can just swipe up. We're going to go directly into your settings here. And then from settings, scroll all the way down and you want to tap on about down here. And then once you tap on about, you just want to go down to where it says reset here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Now it's up here, okay? It says reset all settings. So go ahead and tap on this now just really quickly, okay? So what does this do here? It says this will reset all settings on your phone except it will not reset you know, your security settings, your language, accounts, personal data. You're not doing a factory reset, okay? So your settings for download apps, your personal data, it's not gonna be a reset. So from here, go ahead and tap on reset right there. Go ahead and put in your password and then go ahead and proceed. Once you're done with the resetting, go ahead and open up your apps or whatnot and see if it, the auto rotate is working, okay? Now, if it's still not working, we're gonna to go to the last step here. And the last step here is basically doing a factory reset. The thing is, if you do a factory reset, you will lose everything on your phone. It'll be as if you bought the phone brand new and took it out of the box and you had to you know, start everything from the very beginning. Um, you have to put in your, um, your password, your Wi-Fi password, you have to sign into Netflix, all that stuff on your phone. So if you wanna know how to do a factory reset, then look in the link below in the description. I have a... Um, a video on how to do a factory reset. Anyways, most of you guys are up and running now. Any questions, issues, comment below. If this worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. There should be at least a 90% thumbs up. Good luck.